There are two departments in the life of a person. There's a department where your mind believes the Lord. You want to follow God. You are righteously follow the Lord. And there's a department where the devil of your family owns you. Consciously you love God. And you follow him. But you are owned by the serpent of your village. So anytime you pray, your prayers are provocation to the serpent. That's why when you finish pray, they sleep you. When you finish pray, they feed you. So how can you pray all throughout the night? Only for you to rest for 30 seconds, you have sex with the spirit. Then to who do you pray to? Why do you have such an attack? It's because the deity that rules your family is merely telling you, you are praying to the wrong God. The real God is the shrine your father was worshipping in the village. So for you to pray, I pray you understand me. I pray. I pray you understand me. Is somebody getting me? Because you cannot pray to God for four hours. Then they sleep with you. How come? How? You pray fast, nothing happens. You are very righteous in your tongue. You can quote scriptures to others, help others and they are blessed. But when it comes to your life, nothing is happening. Can I tell you what is happening to you? Consciously you love Jesus. But your real life is owned by Satan. Through the deity of your father. Through the power of dedication. So for you now to be owned by God, there must be a real dedication in your life. To be given back to God. So in the day of rededication, there is a transfer of your spirit from the deity of your father to the altar of Jesus. That's why the Bible says, if the foundation of the righteous is destroyed, what will the righteous do? Meaning that no matter how righteous you are, if your background is bad, you can never grow. Am I talking? Hello? See, can I tell you the truth? When you die in such a situation, right? When you die because of your innocence, you go to heaven. It's, are you getting me? But as long as you're on planet Earth, and that deliverance has not been done to you under dedication, right? You will suffer what I call Earth fire. You know what is what I call Earth fire? It's a life of torture, pains. You suffer poverty, but you are praying. You can even profess her. You can see other people's vision. You can pray for others and they are blessed. You know what? In the name of Jesus. But the truth is that no one will remember to help you. Because why? The spirit of your family is angry. You are supposed to be worshipping them. You are supposed to be pouring blood to them. But you are calling a strange God. That is why we always pray for you. And we tell you to give your life to Christ. Why? As you are giving your life to Christ, you are publicly denouncing the serpent of your family. And one bad thing I don't like about deities within families is that any deity that rules a family, it marries the family. The worst is when your family is connected to a separatized family. Listen to me, you can never have these meetings in life. You can never enjoy good relationship. No matter how sweet or beautiful or good or simple or nice you are as a woman, men will dump you and look for a crazy girl who is more crazier than you. And then when they get married, that's when they will come back and say, you are the only one I think they left you to marry, but they did not marry you. Hello. Another thing against the serpentine spirit is that when you lose a family, anything that is called godliness and goodness and favor, your family can never see it. Because you walk like an elephant and then serpent begins to swallow. You will dream good dreams, but it will never come to pass. We don't understand. Another thing again, another thing is that miscarriages can never leave your home. Because anytime you are pregnant, the serpent will sleep you. I've told you people when I was teaching the school of deliverance, I said anytime you have sex in the night, it's not actually the penis of a man that enters you. It is a serpent. That's why once the, the serpent enters you as a woman, the next day you begin to see bleed. What happened? It busts the rapun that holds the child in the womb. 
There's a rapun that holds the child in the womb. So once that rapun is burst, according to biological manifestation, when they want to do what is called day and see, they set an object inside the body of a woman. That object is to burst the rapun, the placenta, the rapun, so that the child will come out. So what the serpent does is that once he enters you, the first thing he does, he busts the rapun and suck blood. The next day you begin to bleed. Miscarriage. And you ah. Don't understand. The last one is, is that your family will never see favor. EBT, I've seen people who are connected to people that can change their life in one second, but they don't see a reason why to happen. Why? Anytime a person make up his mind to favor you, that person becomes an enemy. He will not pick your call. The way you people are talking, I love each other, you never see him again. There will be no contact. The person will automatically just hate you. Why? The serpent that rules the house. 